Hello everyone, welcome to my new video with this, which is kind of the sequel of the last one where I built a magnetic RPM meter or in other words a magnetic tachometer uh, which uh, read the RPM of this little DC motor there and uh, I changed here uh, quite a few things for example, as you can see this uh, breadboard, there are no buttons at all, except that one. But it's not connected anywhere. So I removed all the buttons and moved them all there. I got another Arduino board in the meantime. By the way, it's also an Uno and there is the well-known potentiometer the start button and the, the direction button oh yeah I forgot to mention that I also build in an edge bridge in this uh, breadboard so now you can change the direction of the DC mother so let's see how it works If this motor will uh, need another power supply, the Arduino's one won't be enough. Oh yeah, wrong way, break USB cable. So the board is working. So let's do the same to this. Uh, transmitter board. Also, I hope you to explain how these two separate Arduino boards communicate with each other. And they do that, namely, with the help of this little guy here, which is an NRF 24L01 uh, chip on its breakout board. And this uh, is basically a an RF transceiver chip which communicates with the Arduino board through an SPI bus and uh, this chip has so many options it can uh, send that data on more pipes on different uh, frequencies you can do a lot of things with it You just uh, have to take a look at this data sheet. It's pretty long. But I also could do that. So you could definitely do that too. Experiment with it. And how you should set the SPI of the Arduino board. It's written on the well known Arduino.cc website. Take a look at them both if you have some spare time okay there we go and now the other one is still running so let's push the button and fire up this baby yeah, yeah. can you hear it? it's working perfectly as I I was expecting. Oh yeah. And if I push the button there, not the start button, but the direction button. It will try to rotate in the opposite direction. Just kind of a bit hard to see. But it will. 
And the rest of the circuit works as it used to. So it's still displaying the RPM of this mother with the help of the read relay there. Alright, I guess that's it. I hope you like this project. Please rate it or give a feedback if you like something or if you don't. And we'll see you next time.